This fairly ordinary looking plane has just crossed the English Channel, but it's done so without burning a drop of kerosene. That's because this is Airbus's E-Fan, an all-new electric plane. The E-Fan demonstrator flew from Lyd in southern England to Calais on Friday in a 36-minute journey. Why electric? I mean, we have so many challenging challenges facing us as a, as a company in terms of being able to meet the, the targets that are required of us from an environmental perspective. We have to reduce uh, carbon dioxide emissions, we have to reduce noise and this aircraft is really an experimental platform for us to start to look at the technologies that we can use to try and achieve that. Electric planes offer the promise of reduced CO2 emissions compared with fossil burning ones. It's an attractive proposition for a growing global airline industry struggling to curb pollution. It's a technology demonstrator for us. It's part of our long-term electric strategy for moving to regional aircraft with electric or hybrid technology. Like most planes, the E-Fan has its fuel in its wings. Just this time, it's lithium-ion polymer batteries powering the two electric motors. The goal for the prototype is to stay aloft for about an hour and a half. With this one, you take off, uh, you land back again, you take the batteries out of the wings, and you take your spare set of batteries, plug, and you're ready to go again. Airbus plans to modify the E-Fan into a hybrid electric system, where the battery can be topped off by a regular motor in flight to extend range. Airbus expects to start delivering two-seat all-electric E-Fans from 2017. It's the first major company to put an electric plane into production. Expect a longer wait if you're hoping to go on your holidays in an electric plane, though. The roadmap for electric aircraft is a long one. There are a number of challenges to making larger electric-powered aircraft. Uh, firstly, the current battery technology is not sufficient to be able to uh, meet the power requirements. Uh, and also, a lot of testing and certification needs to be done in order to certify the plane to be able to travel long distances. 